Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and uh, well, we were uh, bamboozled by Shimra earlier. Absolutely. Not to, but not to worry, we have a plan to get out of this. Actually, I prefer... Beat the shit out of a robot. Actually, I prefer the term Smeckledorfed. That's not even a word. But it you is still now. agree with me. Okay, so because the ro because they uh, didn't get the robot in time, because these guys are idiots, um, <laughs> we have the opportunity to um, cripple the robot before it fights us. But I'll explain more after we beat these guards. Do not mind us, officers. First thing first, uh... Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all, this is Cloud Strife here on my local live stream as usual here, and me and the boys are about to escape this reactor core. Uh, Cloud, you do know that if you carry something like that around with you, they can trace you to where you live and all that. Oh, that's why it's a floating camera that follows me from behind. It's the latest in, uh, tech. Alright. Okay, so, uh, now that we've, uh, now that we've killed all the guards and, uh, deprived them of their families, or, you know, sorry, deprived the families of them, um, we've got some decisions to make for, the net, for this part. Uh, basically, see on that screen there, we've got a, um, consignment of M units, big bomber shells. And four and, AI components. Yeah, another bit that I can't see on the camera. Um, you can, um, collect key cards throughout this segment. And you can choose to remove some of these parts to make the fight a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. That's Keep a... in mind, uh, the key cards are limited, so you have to strategize what to reduce. That's, uh, you know, I, I love this chapter for how amazing that customization is. It's like, hey, here's a create your own boss mechanic. And it, even yeah. so, as Maximilian also theorized uh, back when he was actually testing uh, this. Uh, uh, on the demo that he tried. Uh, <laughs> if you want a pure challenge, if I recall correctly, you can have it. You can decide to not alter any of the components. Yeah, Consider you don't have to. They can just not force you. Considering the boss in that plays, I opt to just not do it because, hey, the more I get to hear that theme, the better. Well, that's one... wrong with listening to it on YouTube, Jova. Well, well, Jova, that was screw over if you try doing that on hard mode. Yeah. I can tell you that. Well, again, you just gotta have the right skills for hard mode. Yeah, you gotta get good. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Let's okay, see. so um, with this. M units, uh, basically. Um, yeah, the cloud will explain. Even the game will actually tell you. There you go. Okay, it can. Yeah. M units can make is allow the uh, robot to carry more things. Get rid of them, we won't be able to carry as much. Actually, I mean, no, it's, you... ac it's actually structure different. As the text said, uh, the M units do not affect the combat efficiency. But if you divert them later on in a in a, in a cell storage um, portion of the of the, of the, you of the place, uh, you, you can actually get some special materials that were tied to the M units. Uh. I'm surprised you didn't or check. You can... I'm surprised you didn't check all the units before picking which one you were going to dispose of. This goods. one, this one is uh, is the only uh, is the only monitor that is in this room. True. Yeah. Um. You are going to check the others, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Tiff and well, Barrett will do the own. job in sort of separating. Barrett will opt to, to suggest you for the big bomber shells, while Tifa will suggest you instead to read all the AI components. So, Tio... And I'll be making my own, de I'll be making my own decisions mm -hmm. which ones to remove. But Again, course. your choices will be limited, yes, Jova? So what did you opt for, Tio? Okay, I... I, I uh, since I didn't know exactly what... then uh, they just wanted to see what will happen. I removed the first um, materia, I'm sorry, M unit, like the one that the game tells, suggests you to do, even though in hindsight they probably should have done it, because the materials that you get are not really special, even for this point of the game. Um, and then I remember, sorry, I removed uh, three AI components and two big bomber shells, meaning that I didn't disable 100% any of the combat capabilities, but it kept them to a minimum. Mm, very nice. You know, again, that's another thing. It adds good replayability uh, to the game as well. 
So mm-hmm. you played Airbuster like this, or why don't you play Airbuster like that? And you can be sure as heck that's probably going to be an achievement for beating it without reducing actually anything. Actually, there isn't. Uh, I actually checked the PSN profiles at uh, least. Uh, huh. It seemed like a no-brainer. True. Still, though... Well, I- the trophy list seems sort of straightforward. I haven't checked the the, the spoiler the, the spoiler one, but from... From my body being told, uh, you know, because I actually did ask uh, uh, if any of his poll trophies were about stuff like this, uh, but that really seemed to be one. Again, let it be said that Chapter 7 here is definitely one of the big favorites of a lot of people. For me, too, the hardest trophy in the game is uh, the one to get to, to the pull up mini game in hard mode. In pro mode, sorry. Oh, he, he, he uh, like. <laughs> The one with Tifa doing the pull-up. I don't know, I, I know, I know it, but like... Also, wow, uh, Shinra is well, so later. unsympathetic, they won't send any backup. So basically, we don't have enough of men, unfortunately, Dwebs. Shinra's got, like, it's never had enough body to build a big uh, city. Here's the thing, Dwebs, they Remember diverted the big... a lot of their forces yeah. to uh, Sector 4. Four. Biggs told us that uh, even with Heidegger planning things, uh, See, coding, now, now I found a materia. They, it, it actually is actually not tied to that. But we will find another one later on, um, hopefully. Um, but no, it's um, even with Heidegger planning, uh, you know, they were still not sure, so they basically kept only a part of their forces here. So, Dwibs, I'm curious, what's been your favorite chapter so far? Um, well, again, I don't really have a favorite, and I'll, I'll wait on I'll wait on saying that until I beat the game. Alright, I was just asking for so far, but fair enough. There you go. Your first major choice, one, one key card, and you have to decide between one big bomber shell and one AI component. <laughs> oh no, clouds come across small boxes. Don't you care. <laughs> oh, they are defeated. <laughs> I think I mentioned what I mean. Oh, okay. Um, no, but like, it, it, it's about um, it's about just you know battle input. Like, is in pre promote is super fast. I think. Well, yeah. That's a, the the problem too is that it's literally to the point where to get to, to beat the pro mode, you literally there have to are. be perfect. You cannot we can one. we can also okay. remove we can also remove the big bomber shells, meaning that um, well, there'll be any bombs for it to drop. So what will it the, be? The air, the air component instead is a state that I think the airbuster can enter into, where the it becomes AI much faster. Yeah, the AI programming core. Let me just say this though, folks. Despite the fact that we are weakening the airbuster, don't think that that's gonna make it a walk in the park. Still, there you go. Awareness is yeah. a frequency which it fires the finger beams. Okay. Although, to be quite honest, as annoying as being stunned might be, I'd rather be stunned than blown up. So, uh, I mean, yeah, let's, let's, that, this. let's just say. Getting stunned? Nah. Let's just say. The I mean, be- at least being stunned is temporary. If you get blown up, that's it. Anyway, let's just say yes, BBs sir. are no joke in this game. Well, yeah. This is why I'm actually, trying it's, getting it's, rid of those. It's actually the the one major special attack that is actually taken from the original. So there we go. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean all the big bombs are gone, though. Why? Do you want to salvage it? Well, when you say it like that... If you're that, good at timing, sure. Uh, yeah, we can sell that stuff later. Or maybe we can use it ourselves. Imagine being able to use a BB in battle. Well, it will be just a glorified the giant grenade. And I don't, I don't use it. Either. I wonder if it would be powerful enough to take down Sephiroth. <laughs> Absolutely, he's doing one of his speeches, and the grenade blows in his face uh, like Harry oh, Osborn in yeah. Spider-Man Three. Yes, that, that would that would also that would be the most anticlimactic ending to a Final Fantasy game. I mean, we really after all that build oh. up, all we have to do is pop a grenade at everybody. What are you doing? 
Uh-oh. Well, Dwips? Um, there have been cases... Hold on. Alright, what the fuck are you doing? Alright, we're over here. I think he's trying to find where the camera is. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Bomb, yo. Sound. <laughs> mic drop, <laughs> or, or, or even, or even worse, they'll probably mute you and make you say, make it seem like you're saying something that you're not. The point is, I mean, okay, I wish, I wish I could, uh, I wish I had the editing uh, tech power to uh, make it, uh, I don't know, dub over Barrett or something, and I would have made them say something like, uh, "Hey, um, uh, sorry, I fuck, I've forgotten the city name, big guy." Hey, big guy, we're, we're fucking terrorists and we're gonna blow all your shit up because we don't Charge care the door shock for dweebs. We've got some misguided, we've got some misguided care about our planet that we don't care for any of your lives. <laughs> anyway, you're about to say, Pedro? And then, uh, and, oh. and to cover teeth for it, people will be like, don't, don't forget to mention we'll eat all their babies or something like that. Mm hmm. You're saying, but Pedro? Yeah, no, but no, the, the, actually, there have been cases of final bosses in Final Fantasy that have that you can render an absolute joke. Like, uh, uh, I forgot uh, which is the one that you can kill using um, the chainsaw. The chainsaw oh, Final Fantasy Adventure. Oh, what, ab oh, what about the boss that? Well, talk about main series games. If I remember what correctly. about the, the final form of a horse and he's vulnerable to the death spell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What about the boss that gets beaten by casting cure on him? Yeah, that, yeah, um, well, that's the Mr. Quest one. Um, it still technically counts. Yeah, for, unfortunately, yes. But, um, but it's not called Final Fantasy here in Europe, so... Too bad, dweebs. Final Fantasy material pretty much recognizes him in, well, yeah. it, it's a European name change. Like, if you play the Fiat Ritum, Benjamin Count, he's, he's there, and the title is referenced by that. Well, uh, dweebs, uh, I don't know if this counts as well, but uh, in the final boss of Final Fantasy X, the game gives you infinite auto lives. It literally makes it impossible for you to lose. Yeah, seriously, I don't get what's the point at that point. Might as well be in a cutscene. I guess it was an but attempt to. It, it, it makes it it makes it interactive. You're part of it. Sure. <laughs> okay. So now now we're getting we're getting a bit more in the way of key cards, but we're also getting more choices as a result. So yeah, our, um, AI programming call. You're out of here. So I'm guessing, Glitz, for your overall thing, you're trying to be an all around weakener. Well, mainly I'm getting rid of the bombs. Mm hmm Yeah, I can I can imagine you're prioritizing that. Yeah, because like I said, don't have to be stunned and blown up. Because I can recover from being stunned. Also, I, I can piece myself back together. Also, love the um, I love the Battle Theme remix for this uh, reactor uh, stage. Mm hmm it's got a nice sort of um, Mission Impossible edge to it. Feel like scrapping some BBs? Hurry up and decide what you want to get rid of. It's past time we talk. Come on, Barrett. The seizure requires time. Well, I'm about to teach them the school of hard knocks and, of course, the school of hard nerfs. Trust me, I've had enough experience getting nerfs from Sakurai to know. There we go. I guess we're in the bomb. Still one remains on the Airbus drive, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the air components are four, the big bomber shells are three, and so the M units. You know, for a second, Jova, I thought you meant, I thought you said the Airbus or something, and I'm like, wait, you're telling me that the French are secretly making killer robots to blow us all up? Uh huh. That's the paradoxical. Oh, Barrett, if only you knew. Believe it or not, this quote-unquote public execution is nowhere near as close as it'll get for you and Tifa. Ain't that right to you? Mm-hmm. Sometimes the only oh. help you need is in the form of a cat toy. That's right, I don't dance. I really hope I don't regret saying that later on. Totally. Hmm. So yeah, one thing, I think this is the first time you encounter one. Purple treasure chests are the ones that give you new weapons, actually. It's a nice In this way. case, it's a glow for Tifa. 
Ah, the Sonic Strikers. Love those weapons. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, on, on the Airbus front, I should clarify. It's, um, it's really weird, because their main offices are in France, but their headquarters are in the Netherlands. Huh. I don't get it either. But anyway, um, yeah, let's see what other stuff Tifa has. Although, actually, no, leather gloves are fine. Again, it is nice that overall they make it so that each weapon upgrade is pretty much preferential to the previous, except for that one physical weapon of Barrett's, which is the odd man out. Alright, alright, I'm going, I'm going. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah, we know it shouldn't be a surprise at this point. You've been seeing us all on the cameras. To be fair, they can't always get a good perspective of where they're going through. Yeah, but you think, you think they overhear their colleagues saying, We got the intruders right here. Let's do this. Or, 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 or hey, considering how fast these battles can be if you know what you're doing. They could be like, Hey guys, we got the intruders. Ah! <laughs> just gotta find the cards. There's one. Thank God they just leave them lying around. Four consoles and never enough key cards. It's almost like they knew we were coming. <laughs> yeah, that's the third shell. Big bomb shells. I guess we will not be seeing Big Bomb in this playthrough. Well, I'll go look at the others first. <laughs> Oh, but there's another card. Mm -hmm. Just gotta check, make sure I haven't missed one. Also, hi, Tifa. Hi, Tifa. Well, we know. It, <laughs> well, what we do know is that it has to be less than mm. four. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, Ram. You'll know if Cloud's been here because there is a trail of destroyed piles of boxes in his wake. Huh. Okay, okay. Here's my decision. Uh, fuck decisions. But you have to make a decision, so that doesn't make any sense. An AI's programming course. Well, I'm using, I'm using, well my, well, my own decision is one that matters. So it's still a decision, though. Yeah, well, I, I don't call it a decision. I call it a choice. It's still a decision. It's choice. It's one less, it's two less than No, levels. you're, Dwebs, no, you're wrong. Choice is an illusion created between those with power and those without power. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get rid of the programming core. I was thinking the same thing. Yes, no, it was a because, metric reference. Um, oh. I thought you didn't want, like bringing that up. <laughs> because I want to, um, I like to, um, divide, um, Mm -hmm. My decisions fairly, be sorry, my choices fairly between Tifa and Barrett. Fair enough. So, yeah, sorry, audience. I don't think we will be seeing Big Bomb in this playthrough. Then again. Which is for the better. <laughs> yeah, I like I said, I don't want to be blown up. Let's see, basically, folks, you know that cute little bomb attack from the original game? Well, in this game, how to describe it? It's a. A magnificent inferno that will burn you to its very core. There we go. That's the final score. Yeah. Two out of three, three out of two out of four, zero out of three. I think, I think that's what I said anyway. Yep, I'm sure the detonator will work just fine. Right. We're gonna use the Nintendo Switch to blow out this reactor. <laughs> And I had to pause the game for a second. Anyway, let's save here before uh, the power goes out or something. Well, if the power goes out, it would be advantageous to us. Uh, the, uh, the IRL. Mark. Oh. Yeah, I remember the dual shock battery was low. Well, not just the dual shock battery. How today even had a power cut. I wasn't recording anything, thank God. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Jesus. Stand down. You're done. 
Yeah, you see, Carl doesn't you need materia. All he has to do is slash the guy's ass and bam. That said, Dwib's materia would very much help my quest. But I just showed you I don't need it. I've got a perfectly good good grasp of swordplay. Let's just say, Dwibs, there are further challenges later in this game where you're really going to want and it. you got lost. Further, further, further challenges. What do you think this is, Smash Brothers? Let's just say, since you're doing every side quest in this game, I'm going to need all the materia I can get. Well, it's... screw that. I'm going to play football with boxes. Especially, especially for that... Do... Especially for that one forsaken enemy whose name we do not speak of. Voldemort. Even worse. I was, I was thinking, I thought I thought Square crosses over with Disney, not on the brothers. Also, the names of the world is not the UK. I got a potion. What are you guys looking at? I told you of my phobia of boxes. All right, we're right back where we started. Now let's mosey oh, on and make our way out. As soon as I can find the right door. Uh, uh, clouds get over that. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I'm trying, Tifa. It, it's, it's quite dark in here. He's struggling. Cloud, I it. told you, Cloud. I'm not Tifa. I'm the side of your I'm the side of your mind that tells you to get the fuck on with stuff. That's Don't exactly with why it. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking I to said Tifa. No! You're not my mom. I'm already going. I'm you, you moron. You're the side of me that always surfaces after I don't go to rehab. Yeah, now look what's happening to you. Which is a sign that I should not listen to you. And a sign that I should lay off the Mako. Oh no. Get the How the hell will I defeat thee? Yeah, working as just then get... doesn't work. Tifa? As as I get the... But I don't have the ATB yet, hey, Tia. Now you have. Just as Pran! Ha 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 ha! Sure. Yeah. It's the best thing we've got. It is. Or I could just dodge roll behind them and slice them. Yeah, it, it, it is a viable strategy. Failing that though, um, yeah, cast fire. Didn't even stand. Also, a Barrett, don't get to, don't get so close, Barrett. I'll get you get sliced. Notice something, Tifa? Looks like a performance assessment. But we already see the screen. As we fight, as long as we stay focused, we'll be fine. We can do this. For real though, we need to talk victory poses. <laughs> Well, I have always considered spinning my sword around and launching it behind my back. True, Cloud. But, um, more recently, you're focused on spinning it in front of you instead of off your head. But, um, but unfor unfortunately, the last time Cloud tried that, it flew out of his hand, and uh, but unfortunately, it didn't kill a guy. But it, but, um, but unfortunately, it uh, destroyed the oh. guy behind him's launch. And uh, since then, Cloud has been rather reluctant oh. to do so in case it hits somebody. Oh dear. Oh. It's a chainsaw sweeper. Uh, don't you just hate it when this happens? You're running along, minding your own business, trying to destroy a reactor to save the planet. Then the assholes like this come along and try to ruin your day. Look at the bright oh, yeah, side. The I do believe it may have given us a new escape route. Yeah, it's, um, it's, not very, it's, not, it's very convenient, I think. <laughs> oh damn, I can't, can't, uh... You have been a smoked, uh, so which means you have the mute uh, status. Yeah, not to worry, um... I mean, honestly, there you go. um... Honestly, I think I'd rather just... Um, I, don't, I think I might have the stuff I need to get rid of that, but it doesn't last very long, so... Why bother? Again, that lasts like 10 seconds max, and even then I can switch to another character. And take care of and take care of the enemy with that. 
Again, dweebs. So, like, I got summon loading up anyway. Any second now. Unless I kill the enemy first. Ow. Will you stop being rude and trying to kill you? Okay, now that hurt. Alright, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Cloud. I am cutting you right now. Actually, no, I'll just cast fire. Well, I cut off its power by casting fire, so... Let's just say we cut to the chase. Cloud, go back to pond school. I can't. <laughs> Why not? Because Terra's there and she'll make fun of me. Who's Terra? Yeah, this green-haired girl. Actually, she's supposed to be yellow, Jova. It was just an error. It was just a colorist decision to help better with the cartridge. And yet people remember her better for the green hair. Well, yeah. that's... Well, that's... Uh, that, that's the thing, Jova. Like, even in the modern... That's the thing, too. Even in the modern... Uh, port that's on Steam with the shitty... I know, uh, I know. They, they have her... Uh, have wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know that the sprites are bad, but people are criticizing also the artworks. So. Well, uh, no, no, I, I mean the sprite, the, the, art, the sprite artwork, there you go, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah. the, oh, the sprite look, because the artwork that they use for the character portrait is actually the Yoshita Kamano one, just uh, a more stylized version of it. Sure, 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 I, I, I meant the sprite themselves, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Actually, I haven't checked yet uh, what's the status of the mod for the Steam version. I'm guessing Better that when with we... With the original SNES sprites. Uh Oh, apparently the Steam version is the same as the mobile version. No, no, I know it is, Jova, but there was, if I meant, they told you in the past, there, there is, at least like I said, there was a mod in development that uh, replaces the in-game in sprites with the original SNES ones. It's not the best compromise, but, you know, it's better than watching the mobile I'm guessing... Because it, it is a shame because they argue that literally anything else in the upscale works for the better, particularly the, how the enemies look. Again, it's sort of an inverse of the problem with Final Fantasy IX's remaster. You know, the sprites look way too out of place in the environment. Among other things, mind you. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Final Fantasy it, IX... It, it, content wise, it also is the definitive edition because uh, for six is based on the Game Boy Advance version, which had the most content in it. I forget, did Chrono Trigger finally get a port that you know keeps the stuff from the DS version or is the DS version? Yes, yeah, so the Steam the version specifically. It's still not on consoles though. That goes for you too. Right. Yes, Tifa. You give up. Tifa, I told everyone else you're not my mom. Hey, 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 hey. Look. When I call her mom, it's in a more private setting. Oh uh, yeah, we, you know, we, we cannot like the vice president who apparently calls his wife mom or something. Uh-huh. But apparently, I don't know for sure. But anyway, um, there we are. We've uh, crippled the um, beast. But, oh, there's still quite a bit left of the part to go. I wonder what I'm going to do. Well, there was a particular gimmick in the original game titled this reactor that developers have been nice enough to keep. I'll say. We'll see in a second. Anyway, let's open the door. Hmm. What? Open it already! <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, if only, uh, if only we had a ninja who could um, somehow sneak in there. But what are the chances we're going to come across a ninja? Also, I'm pretty sure ninjas are not uh, by by definition masters of unlocking. Actually, they tend to be surprisingly enough. Well, okay, maybe not unlocking, but always finding a way in. Suppose. But alas, this is not him. Okay, okay. Well, okay. Here's um, here's something we do. This this part requires good time on your part. Yeah. Basically, um, Barrett's gonna go on one side. You go on the right, and Tifa goes in the middle. You have to time when you press when you um press the corresponding 
analog stick, the direction that the game shows you to. But he mm-hmm. says now push the left and right analog sticks either up, down, left, or right. At the same time. Yep. If you fuck up, you have to start over again. Alright, here we go. Uh, can we just guess the password? <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention, you two. Three, two, one. There we and go. There ha! Now who's the master of unlocking? Um, your mama? <laughs> uh, no, my mom's not Joe Valentine. Well, she's blonde. Also, what? also who's Joe Oh, who's snap! Val- she, she is who's currently Val- blonde. Val- um, a friend of my dad's. Are you sure she was just a friend? But yeah, here's the optional stuff. The the storage that we mentioned before is behind that door. It just has the teeny tiny problem that it has a higher security lock around it. Alright, so we just so we gotta do this multiple more times. Fortunately, not too game, many. Yeah, the game and also the game is very generous. If you fail an attempt, uh, you will just have to redo that. It doesn't even have to start from the very beginning. You'll get a bit of funny dialogue too here and there. Yeah. One thing I like about the last few chapters is that they really do a good job building up the camaraderie between these three characters, and this section in particular is quite keen at that. Yeah. Yep, sorry, I messed up that one. Let's try again. Three, two, one. There we go. There we go. That's one. That was great, you guys. Let's keep it up. All right. Three, two, one. Yep. There we go. says something that we can get joy out of doing something as simple as flipping a switch. But it's the thought that counts. Christ, how many levels do they have? Four. You were about to do the last one. One for each street lamp that we uh, extinguish. <laughs> oh, you got a little emotional there. <laughs> I was on a roll. Right. There, there we go. Delta level security disengaged. Disposal room now accessible. And yeah, yeah. Good. One thing we can do now is we can collect all the all. We can now go off and collect all the parts that we took away from the giant mech to use for ourselves. Nice. The M unit, as I mentioned, will be cool, consisting in actual material that you can get. The bomb unit is just there a board. You can get a trophy if you unlock the room. The bomb unit or is... you can, um, or you can sell it. Yeah, as mm-hmm. I was about Good to say, price. the bomb unit is unfortunately a glorified paperweight. You can't actually use it in battle. Kind of a shame, too. Can you imagine how cool it would be to use one of the boss's own weapons against some unsuspecting mooks? Alright, let's just check our materia. Okay, but unfortunately I don't have enough um, summon materia to give to Barrett, unfortunately, so you have to make do without for now. Be funny if you give Barrett Shiva. <laughs> I actually did, for my run. Aha! Uh-huh. So who'd mostly, you give... Mostly for, for the lose. Of course. So who'd you give Bahama to? I haven't got it yet. Muhammad is only up to in the post game to uh, Jova. Oh, it's only a table in the post game. Didn't know that. Oh yes, score. Well, well, it's the most powerful summon, uh, and it, so it can be very, uh, very useful to you in hard mode, especially when you're fighting the, the, the Coliseum boss in Chapter Nine. So there you go, folks. We don't even have to take that much of a detour to get this stuff. No, it's yep. actually right along the way. Okay, yeah, just we just kind of left it there. The pacing. Yeah, we just, we just have to um do. We just have to do uh, some bits here and there. The pacing of this remake is so well thought out and sublime. 
Although, sorry, you can't jump over those. <laughs> yeah, you have to uh, pick your way around. Okay, now let's just mosey on out, minding our own business, and if we're lucky, we'll make a clean getaway. Absolutely. Nothing can go wrong for now. Mm-hmm. Everything's yep, looking I'm... up and down, and all around. Yep. I'm positive. Okay, we'll see you for the, see for the next part, where I kick that bloody mech's ass. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. See ya. Oh, it's not yeah. a spoiler, is it? <laughs> I'm recording no, no, not really. <laughs> see ya. Ta-ta! Yeah.